Okay, Hitamak's Kanatani. Good morning. It is just about 7 o'clock, 7.30 in the a.m. on Saturday, August 11th, 2018. And I'm going to be starting off the morning with a couple of skunk calls as usual. But I wanted to show you guys the progress of this crow. Hey, crow. How are you doing? You doing okay in there? Feeling all right? I think so. I can't tell what his flight capabilities are yet, but he's definitely got a lot, a lot of spunk in him and stuff, a lot more than yesterday. So I think I'm gonna keep him in the outdoor enclosure here for today, unless it gets too hot. If it starts getting too hot again, like yesterday it was 40 degrees Celsius, which is ridiculous. So if he gets like that, of course I'll take him inside, but um, he'll get more exercise room in that in that enclosure. And I don't know, maybe, maybe he can do a release today. Um, like I said though, I'm just, I'm not sure about his flight capabilities. So, but if I do, want to test a release I think I'll bring him back to the area where I picked him up so that he can be right back with his family again but we'll see that might not be today might wait till tomorrow to do that right now we got to go get those skunks that part of the issue uh, not too far I've only been hit like maybe Five, six feet away, anything further than that. It's hard for them to, to get me. And it's tucked up underneath there. Hey, buddy. I see you there. Get a quick shot of him here. Yeah. Okay. Hey. The little guy, it looks like. family members you got here. <laughs> That's a baby, eh? Yeah. How many do they have? Uh, they can have up to eight. What the? <laughs> yeah, but usually by this time, you know, it's just like any other animal. They, they make more babies than they're going to have long term, right? So a lot of them get killed early, you know? By this time, most of them have like between two and four. But that thing's spraying, it stinks. Yeah, he's, he's a sprayer. <laughs> they do that. That's gross. <laughs> All right, buddy. I hadn't done any releases in this park yet, so I figured it's time to start giving them their fair share. <laughs> All right, a couple little guys. Come on out. Come on out, buddy. Hey, I see ya. I'm looking at ya. Come on. Ah, uh, for you. Piece of cake.
thought before I'd go home or run on another call, I'd stop by here at Spopikami and gather some of these choke cherries since we are entering into the choke cherry ripening moon. And this afternoon I will show you how to make Buxinikimon, which is a traditional Blackfoot preparation for the choke cherries. Day now and on to skunk call number three. <laughs> Spider on the handle. Skunky. Oh, you're just a little guy. Another little guy. Oh, and you got a plastic lid around your neck too, huh? Well, that's gonna make things interesting. We're gonna have to get that off. This. Yeah, another slurpy lid victim, huh? All right, we're gonna get that off of you, don't worry. Just hang on tight for a minute there, and we'll do it at the release site, okay? So I fully expect to be savagely bitten and sprayed <laughs> in what's about to proceed. Now, actually, this is a little guy, so it shouldn't, shouldn't be too big of a problem. Um, last year I had a scenario like this where I didn't see the lid until I let the skunk out of the trap and then I had to actually chase it down um, with, with just my tarp barehanded and rip that plastic off its head. This time at least I had some gloves in my, in my car. I got a knife thanks to one of the subscribers that saw the struggle with the, with the skunk last year with the bare hands. Sent me one of these really cool knives and um, I've been using it I've been keeping it in my uh, this is a bench made knife I've been keeping it in my pocket ever since every time I go out to, to work so here we go this will be interesting I think I'll turn a trap on its end so he's down in there in the bottom that way I can grab him easier little guy are you ready you ready for what we're gonna do you ready to spray me you can see that you ready to come out yeah I gotta get you I gotta get hold of you yeah turn around turn around so I can get hold of you because <clears throat> we gotta get that cup lid off of your neck gotta get it off of your neck yeah, I know you're gonna spray me. I know, you're gonna try to bite me too, I know. But I gotta get it off your neck, so it's only one way to do this and that's to let me grab you. Oh, I know you're tough. You're tough, you are. 
You are. You're tough. You're tough. So turn around a bit so I can grab you. Whoa. Shot up. Good try. Good try. Oh, yeah, that got me. Got you too, though. Ha. I see it on the top of your head there. All right, how about we try this then? How about we try this? Oh, he's got his teeth bared now. He wants to get me. Get a bite. Go ahead. On, buddy I'm gonna get you out of there <clears throat> and I'm gonna get that thing off of your head one way or the other you're smaller than me protected when I have uh, the tarp and the glove. It's another layer. Yeah. Come on, buddy. off you. Okay, see? Not a big deal. Not a big deal. Ta-da! I went tumbling, he went running. So let's see what we got here. What does the evidence say? Yeah, I don't know which, which store this comes from, which product, but it's that typical kind of slurpy lid, frappuccino lid from Starbucks. A lot of places use these lids and it's not uncommon for skunks and other small animals to get their heads caught in these things when people just toss their their uh, garbage around I mean, I'm not a big you know advocate for creating uh, big landfills or anything either like I don't think that you're being any more environmentally sound by putting garbage in a garbage can and putting it in a landfill, but this th this stuff is uh, avoidable. I mean, just like when you get your your uh, six packs of pop or beer or whatever, and you cut those things up before you throw them away. You know, these things should be cut in half at least, and uh, save the animals some some trouble. This guy was lucky that I caught him and was able to help him. It's evening time now, just about 7 o'clock in the p.m. And that usually means snake time for me. And indeed, I am on my way right now to the RV park again. <laughs> this RV resort is keeping me busy the last few days. I had a rattlesnake and then three skunks in a row. 
and now another rattlesnake. So they've already got it in a bucket for me. I just got to kind of pick it up and bring it back over to the den area. of you and you'll be on your way. This looks like another female. A little bit younger, might not even be breeding age yet. But she's getting there. She's getting there if she keep doesn't be wandering across the highway into campgrounds and stuff, you know. Try to not do that. Okay. Alright. Let's take you out of there. Well, you almost made it out. <laughs> Hang on to that stick. Say hello to the camera. And go out here. Be on your way. Enjoy. Oh, yeah, she's taking off. Hustling, hustling. Getting the heck out of Dodge. So we'll see whether there's any more snake calls tonight or not.